G'day folks, Brian here. If you're like me and you use a fair bit of pallet wood to, um, to make stuff, it's free, it's readily available, there's plenty of it, um, you will have come across the situation where you have to um, firstly dismantle the pallets and then next remove all the nails. Now, I mean, there's a couple of ways you can do it. You can cut the piece off with the nails in it and shorten the length of wood that you've got available. You can hammer out each nail um, with a hammer and, you know, with a claw hammer and uh, leave them out. Or um, you can buy a tool to help you punch the nails out. Um, and that's what I've done. Now, this is the tool that I've bought. Basically, it's a pneumatic punch um, you hook it up to your compressor line, um, squeeze the trigger and a shaft or a rod will come out of this uh, tube here um, and punch the nail down and out of the wood. And I'll show you how that works a little bit later. But before I do that, I just want to explain a couple of things to you about it. Um, firstly, I bought it off eBay um, or Evil Bay if it's more affectionately known. It costs $70. Um, and the brand name uh, is Dong Ya. I think I've pronounced that correctly. And I'll, I'll put it up here in the picture somewhere you'll be able to see it. So $70 of eBay, um, Chinese brand. There are other brands available, um, but they're a little bit more expensive. Now, there's a couple of very important things you need to know about this tool. Firstly, it has no trigger safety. All right, as soon as it's hooked up to the air, um, it will operate. You don't need to push down on this tube or any other thing um, to prevent it accidentally firing. Uh, just, uh, I'll just by way of example show you this um, Brad nailer that I've got. You'll see that you can't actually squeeze the trigger unless there's pressure on this um, protrusion just here. So you press down and you can squeeze the trigger. If there's no pressure on that protrusion, on that safety catch, for want of a better term, um, there is no way that you can accidentally operate the trigger and fire a, a brad or a nail out of it. Okay, so on this uh, pneumatic punch, there is no safety aspect like that whatsoever. Okay, so you need to be aware of that. The second thing I need to tell you about is the rod protrudes past the end of this tube. So if you accidentally fire it and it's anywhere near your body, it will hit you. The rod will come out and cause you quite a severe injury. So you need to be aware of that when you're using this um, tool. Okay, what I'll do now is um, I've got some wood over there. Um, I'll set a couple of pieces up um, and uh, and I'll show you how it works. As always, remember, safety first. I've got earmuffs on because it's very loud and I'm going to wear some safety glasses because uh, sometimes the timber will split and it will fly around and it will also punch the nails all the way out of the wood on times uh, and they will bounce off the floor and go in any direction. Um, I've put a bucket under the, underneath the, where the nails will come out this time, hopefully to catch it. Anyway, let's get on with it. Okay, so to operate this, um, to remove the nails, simply slide this tube 
over the nail, uh, push it down, and the nails will punch through. Okay, and as you can see, um, it's punched the nails just about all the way through. And it works just as easily with these twist shank nails as it does uh, with just normal nails. I think you can find most of your nails uh, in pallets are these twist shank nails. Okay, well, what I'm going to demonstrate to you now is the uh, power that uh, this piece of equipment has. So, all I'm going to do is is punch the, uh, this into the wood uh, just to show you what it can do. Okay, as you can see, um, it has punched quite deep holes into the wood here. This is just soft pine. And I have on occasions had the, uh, the tools split the wood um, and, you know, bits fly off. Um, if you have a look on the side where I punched the nails down, you can see that it's also punched um, into the wood around where the nail was. What I'll do is I'll fire this, uh, I'll fire the, the punch now and um, I'll try and slow the video down um, in processing just to show you the uh, steel rod protruding from this from this tube here. Okay, so as you can see, it does a fair job of uh, knocking the nails through the wood. Um, you still will have to remove. The majority of them with the uh, with the claw hammer, um, but it does save you a fair bit of work, um, you know, knocking them through. And it works just as well on the bent nails as it does on the uh, on the straight ones. Um, you simply push the uh, tube over the bent nail, straighten it up, and punch it out. Works a treat. So there you have it, the Dongya uh, pneumatic nail punch. Remember what I said about the safety, um, there is no safety mechanism on it um, and it is good to go as soon as it's hooked up to the air. So you need to be very careful about that um, because it could cause you a serious injury. Anyway, I'd be interested to hear uh, your thoughts and um, any comments in the comment section below. And for now, that's all. Until next time, ta-da.